Western Mass News is getting answers tonight. Springfield officials are trying to ban gas from being sold in the city to illegal dirt bike riders. Thanks for joining us on this Wednesday, everyone. I'm Chris Pisano. And I'm Jordan Jagelinzer. Counselors are proposing fines for gas station owners who don't comply. So we're wondering how exactly that would work. Western Mass News reporter Lindsay Kane has the details. Lindsay. Chris and Jordan, the details are still being ironed out, but the fine is expected to be anywhere between $100 and $300 to a gas station owner per offense. All dirt bikes are illegal. Uh, any dirt bike that is on the road, uh, it is illegal. The city of Springfield is planning a new creative route to get illegal dirt bike riders off the streets. City Councilor Orlando Ramos proposing an ordinance on Wednesday night to the city council that would ban gas sales at city pumps to all illegal dirt bike riders. Illegal dirt biking has led to many, many uh, accidents and uh, even deaths uh, here in the city. So we're trying to protect the public and we're trying to uh, protect the Ill illegal dirt bikers from themselves. Details are still in the works, but the fines would fall on gas station owners if they're caught selling to an illegal rider. Anywhere between $100 and $300 per offense issued by the Springfield Police Department. This comes after continuous crackdowns by police to confiscate bikes and arrest riders without licenses. The department is even utilizing the Mass State Police Air Wing to catch riders from an aerial view. Springfield Mayor Dominic Sarno tells Western Mass News he thinks the proposal is an added layer of protection for the city. Anything that we can do that would be a hindrance and would uh, make them have to work doubly as hard to be on the streets of Springfield, I'm for it. But for others, the idea is easier said than done. It's going to be difficult because, you know, the kids are going to find ways to get around it. Cindy Roman, the manager of Falcon Gas, says her station already refuses to sell to illegal riders as a safety precaution for the public. But she says it's difficult to pick illegal riders out from the crowd. As long as they have a legal container to get gas, we have to give them the gas. And we don't know what they're using the gas for. You know, it could be to mow their lawn. Ramos says there's another meeting on June 7th, and then the vote is expected on June 28th. Live in Springfield for Western Mass News 11 at 11, I'm Lindsay Kane. Lindsay,